Uh, all right, how big of a deal is this admission by the NIH? It's very significant. What we've seen so far, and I've got a whole chapter on Fauci in my book, is there's a lot of evidence. I mean, I mean, it was just factual that the NIH and other United States agencies were sending funding to the Wuhan Institute of Virology, particularly to fund work done by Shi Zhang Li on coronaviruses. In total, and I, I analyzed this uh, for my book, there are more than 60 research projects at the Wuhan Institute of Virology, 60 scientific projects, most on coronaviruses, that were funded with American funding, and again, mostly NIH funding. So this is a lot of research that was going on there. It included gain of function research. You can see that it's it's there in black and white in the scientific papers. And yet you have this situation right, where Fauci be has been seven fifteen or seven eight, it, completely denying it because he you know he he's supported by one side of politics by the Democrats. So there was no accountability. There was no interrogation. Uh, you know, everyone just took him at his word. Leland, you were the one journalist who actually gave him a hard time in that interview. I pay close attention to Fauci's interviews and they're all very soft except for yours. And that was a very important interview because in it, he admitted that he was funding research on coronaviruses in China to avoid an outbreak in the United States. That is just so significant of an admission and he made it in no one else's interview but yours. And the reason that's significant is because it shows that he understood the type of research that he was funding could cause an outbreak, could cause a pandemic. The stupidity is, of course, if there's an outbreak in China, that can lead to an outbreak in every single pocket of this globe as we've seen. Yeah, exactly what we've seen. Uh, Shari, stand by for a minute. Uh, we understand Senator Paul uh, has made it to the studio. We want to check in. Uh, Senator, I saw your tweet when you said, I told you so, doesn't even begin to describe it. 